Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to get into medical school with a low GPA. My name is Pallavi, and I'm an incoming first year medical student at Charles University in Prague, Czech Republic. I, got, I graduated undergrad with a 2.6 GPA and still got an acceptance into medical school. So today, let's talk about how you can do the same. This one's a little obvious, but if you have a chance to improve your grades, I would highly recommend you do that. If you can take an extra gear and redo some of your courses, that's an option. If you got an acceptance into a master's program, you can go ahead and do that as well. I've also read that post -bac programs are a great way to improve your grades um, from undergrad once you've already graduated. So if you have the money, you can do that as well. Take all of this with a grain of salt though because I didn't do any of these and still managed to get an acceptance. So if none of these are available to you, let's get into some other tips. <laughs> because of your low GPA, any kind of entrance exam you do is going to be all the more important. This could include anything like the MCAT, the UCAT, or university specific entrance exams. Now, I'm not sure what specific process any particular medical school admissions committee is going to go through when looking at an applicant. So I don't know whether they're going to weigh your grades more heavily than an MCAT score, for example. But I can say with some level of confidence that the higher your entrance exam scores are, the better your outcomes will be. With higher scores, you'll also be able to explain away your low grades during the interview process as well. Disclaimer on this one. If you want to apply to Stanford or Cambridge with a low GPA, go for it. No one else's opinions should ever stop you. I just want to clarify that this isn't something that I did just because I didn't want to spend too much money on applications. I wanted to apply to schools where I knew I had a good chance of getting in. So I applied to universities which did not accept an MCAT or a UCAT score. Schools that had an entrance exam within their application process. I did this because I felt that these schools would weigh my entrance exam results heavier than my grades and that's exactly how it worked out. So if you're in a similar situation as me and have the same concerns that I did, I would suggest this option. You can research which schools have entrance exams within their process um, of application so you can see which schools may not put as much of a weight on graduating marks. I had an anatomy professor when I was an undergrad who I would go to talk to about medical school during his office hours. There wasn't much that he could say definitively, but what he did say with complete confidence was that medical schools want well-rounded applicants. They're not looking for academically sound individuals solely. The competition to get into medical school is getting harder and harder every year. What worked before, in essence, good grades and a good MCAT score, isn't necessarily working now because most applicants come with good grades and good MCAT scores. This makes it a little trickier for us who have a lower GPA, but not impossible. Adding to your portfolio with extracurriculars that you've been doing is a great way to round out your application. Aside from volunteering at a hospital, which most medical schools require anyway, you need to make sure that your out of school activities are worth talking about. Research is a great option if you can get the opportunity to do so. Also, athletics. If you've played varsity or on a club for many years and have managed to get to a relatively high level with it, maybe you started a charity at your school about something that you're really passionate about, or a chess club because you really like playing competitively. Really, what you do doesn't matter. It's better to show passion and dedication for one particular thing rather than half-hearting multiple over the years. I'm not a person that likes to admit when I need help. Asking for help goes against every bone in my body. But the truth of the matter is, I wouldn't have been able to get into medical school without the help of my friends, my family, and the people that I talked to. It was through a connection that I was able to get past entrance exam papers that helped me prepare for the entrance exam. It was with the help of my parents that I was able to focus on my test wholeheartedly without having to worry about where I'm going to live, paying rent, um, worrying about bills or anything like that. It was through the help of many medical schools admissions offices which I emailed that I was able to better understand how to apply to medical school with a low GPA. Moral of the story, ask for as much help as you need and don't shy away from being that annoying persistent person. 
I am very, 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 very lucky that my process of applying to medical school and getting in was so short and I am acutely aware that this is not normal. I was prepared to spend years, if that's what it took, to get into medical school and I would highly suggest you seal yourself for that possible outcome as well. It's not going to be an easy process, it usually never is, but if you stick with it, I'm absolutely sure that you will be happy in the end. And on that optimistic note, I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.